Sarah, what do I need to do to prepare my home for sale? This is probably the number one question I get as I meet with sellers, and it's not as complicated as it may sound. So today I'm gonna to take you down my top 10 selling tips. They're all easy, and then you'll be one step ahead of the curve as you get ready to hit the market. No matter the season, always, always, always clean the inside and the outside of your windows because it's going to look so much better in the photos and video, plus it's gonna let in way more natural light. Another great tip is to always add really nice fresh greenery. It could be real or faux plants, it doesn't matter, but you can add it around the home. It will look great in all of the photography and videography, and it just adds a nice feel when buyers are looking through your home. Always be sure to take a step outside of your home and notice how your front porch and entryway looks. You might need a fresh coat of paint or some stain on your front door. You can also add some fresh flowers or plants depending on the season. Or like behind me here, you could add some patio furniture. It'll make a great first impression as potential buyers walk up to your home. Always make sure you take the time to go through your home and switch out any light bulbs that aren't working and definitely make sure that they all have the same type of light bulb in them. So if they're warm light bulbs or cool light bulbs, keep them the same. When it comes to the kitchens and bathrooms, always clear off the counter space as much as possible. You can always leave a really cute display like we see here, but otherwise, clear them off and clean them off. Now let's talk about the furry friends in the home. While this home that I'm in right here has a super cute designated spot for pets, not all of us have that in our home. So if you normally have your pet's food or water bowls in a main living area of the home or their dog beds or cat beds, I always suggest to my sellers that you just take those and remove them and put them in the garage or in another indiscreet place because some people that come in your home that don't like pets, I don't know who they are. But in case they don't, it's always best to just put that away for showing. Also always make sure you take the time to go through and have some nice fresh scents going on in your home. Nothing too overpowering. I don't really prefer the plug-ins or anything like that, but essential oils running and just a light candle burning will be a really nice environmental sensory for buyers when they enter your home. As you walk around your home and prepare to list, take a look at the bedrooms and on the couches in the living room, and you might wanna add a few throws or blankets or freshen up your pillows to have, it have a nice new uniform, fresh look. Closets. Don't forget to minimize them just slightly. Don't want them overstuffed or you don't wanna have things falling out if someone opens the door. So just take some time to thin them out a little bit if they're overstuffed or minimize them so that when someone opens them, they're pleasantly surprised. And don't forget your cupboards. This is the same applies as your closets. Make sure you go through them, double check they're organized. Minimize things if you can because you're gonna be moving out anyway, so just pack it up. Don't forget to go through them.